We are here at Miller's Bread Basket in Blackville, South Carolina. I am Susan Duplessis with the South Carolina Arts Commission. So we just want to say thank you again to all of you who are here, um, to our mavens who are representing each uh, one of six counties throughout our South Carolina uh, Lowcountry region. Um, this is the fifth meeting that we've had since we started our meetings last year in June and we just continue to learn as we go and that's the beauty of this initiative is that it's all about learning and being together, seeing what can happen when we really focus on the positives of where we live and what we have as assets and, um, and, and stop um, staying in that place of what we don't have. It was an amazing thing to see people my age, I'm almost 30, people younger than me in high school, interested in coming together and actually trying to promote their area, promote their lifestyle, promote their hometown. We have this folk life thread that we've been trying to weave through everything we've done. So today we're going to build upon that and go deeper and acquire some new tools for seeing and interpreting and understanding and working in and sharing our communities in an even deeper way. Today we're going to talk about geographically determined communities, but we also don't have to adhere to those um, artificial or political boundaries if we don't want to. If you break down the word folk and lore, it really just means people and knowledge, so knowledge of the people. In general, it deals with the way people express their shared identity. For me, it's sewing and uh, uh, creative design with textiles. And I want to share that with other people so that they can enjoy it the way I do. Another half mile to the Watery Country Store. Another two more miles to the Dead River. Last mile to the Congaree. Main Street and the way to everyone you see. The city of Berea just became a trail town last year. Um, during their ceremony, Mayor Connolly said in his speech that they were so prepared to meet the criteria of this designation because of the asset mapping that they completed. The first step to understanding the identity of a place is determining what the place has of value to both insiders and outsiders. Thank you all and have a safe travel home.